Good morning, it's Gay, and it's another bank holiday and it's pouring with rain and hopefully you're somewhere nice and warm and dry. Um, I've just done a little video for you, a bit of movement on your feet. This is going to be laying on the floor. I know some of you are not keen on getting onto the floor but you're worried about getting back off. But if you could do these on a nice safe flat surface, if you've got a nice firm bed you could even do them on your bed. But they're going to do some stretches based on Pilates moves and also a little bit more work for the tummy area. Okay, so you can't lie on that. So I'm just going to get myself onto my back with my bottom on the floor, my feet on the ground. So if I move back a bit, you can see them. And I'm firmly sitting in a V sit position. So I'm in the right position for my body. If you've got a band at home, you can use this to assist you. If you haven't got a band, you can use something like a belt that won't move at all. That's going to give you real strict resistance. Or you can use a towel. So just something to give you a little bit of extra leverage. If you've got the bands, the only issue with the bands is they do move. So obviously you need to make sure it's fixed and it's firm. So sitting tall first. If you've got the band, it goes around the front of your knees and beneath your kneecaps, not actually over the knees themselves. You're going to take a deep breath in and lift this chest. And as you breathe out, you're going to pull down slowly and pull against the band. So the hands come back, breathing as you lift. It's just a small rowing action, breathing in and breathing out. Now, while you're doing this, you're trying to keep your spine long and the tummy muscles are working hard, so to control them. As I say, if you haven't got a band, you don't need to have one. It just helps a little bit with your resistance. So imagine we haven't got the band, and it's this action. Forward, gently back. Lifting, and then lowering slowly. So from there, you need to come down onto your back, feet are flat on the floor, head and shoulders on the mat, nice long spine. Place your feet further on the ground, keep the shoulders relaxed and open. From here, I just want you to take your arms up above your head, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the head up with the arms and the shoulders and stop. And then breathe in, reach the arms forward and breathe out. And you're just going to gently stay where you are. In the position for the hundred, long spine, tummy muscles are in tight, spine's neutral, not moving. If you suffer with neck problems, you can always put a little pillow under your head or you can support your head with one hand. If you've got one of the soft Pilates balls, perfect place to pop it under your head. So we're in the position for the hundred. The chin's off the chest, the spine's long. You need to breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Breathe out. So any movement is your arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nothing else moves. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Lengthen that spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. You're halfway already. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Concentrate from the tummy in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep that going. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just the arms move. Breathing in. Breathing out. Nearly there. Breathe in. Breathe out, and then gently lower head and shoulders, bring the arms above your head. So breathe normally, stretching through the spine. From here, bring the arms to surrender position. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, bring the arms up in front of your face. Breathe in, breathe out, push them away, bring them back round. Breathe in, draw them towards you. Breathe out, push them away, sweep them back round. Breathing in, breathing out, make it smooth. Breathing in, breathing out. The spine's long, it's in neutral. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, lift them. 
breathe out, press away and open. Last one, breathe in, engage, breathe out, press away, open those arms, out to the side of your body, crucifix position. Crucifix position for the arms, the neck's long, the spine's long, the tummy muscles are still slightly tight, but you're not changing the position of your spine. From here, breathe and lift the arms up. Breathe out as you gently lower them down. So that's your movement. Everything else is completely still in your body. The tummy muscles are working tight. Breathe in this time and lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But we're lowering for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and again, breathing in as you lift up for eight, slowly and controlled. Your hands will start to tingle, feel the energy between your arms. When you lower those arms, lower them with the control, as if you're pulling down against a spring in the ceiling and it's trying to stop you, lower your arms. You've got control. You're pulling them down, and as you're pulling them down and breathing out, Open the chest, put your breath in, navel to your backbone. So you'll breathe in and float up. That feels effortless, a bit like your feathers. You've got a feather in each hand. But when you breathe out and open and lower for 12, these arms are going to start to feel heavier. So make sure you're pulling your belly up to backbone. Spine's long, chest nice and controlled and open and wide. Floating up as you breathe in, so we're not touching the floor between these. Just slow it down, control it. Close your eyes so it helps you to concentrate. Breathe out as you open those arms slowly. And as you open them, push them away from you. But keep it controlled. And then just one more. Breathe in as you float up. And as you breathe out, press them away, down slowly for 12. Let them feel heavier and heavier. They'll come all the way to the floor, slowly and controlled. And once they're touching the ground, let them relax, keep them open. Now draw your knees together and slowly rotate the legs to one side, but keep the shoulders firmly on the floor. Bring them back to the centre and then over to the side. So add your breath, breathe in, prepare, breathe out as you lean across, breathe in as you lift back up, breathe out as you roll over to the side, keeping those shoulders on the floor, only go to where it's comfortable for you, you will feel pulling round the side of the back and into the lower spine, but it shouldn't feel painful, it's just feeling like you're working a little bit harder through these obliques, through the side of the waist. So we're going to do one more slowly. Then come back to the centre. Put the hands by your side, relax the shoulders. Now bring your feet apart, pressing the heels firmly into the floor. From here, we're going to start to work the hip flexors and these deep tummy muscles here. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in and prepare. And as you breathe out, just slowly peel yourself away from the floor, coming up to your shoulder bridge. Onto your shoulder blades, not your neck, so it shouldn't be painful. Holding it here, taking a deep breath in at the top. Now as you breathe out lower, you come down slowly, letting the spine move one bone at a time. Once you're on the floor, you'll breathe in again. And as you breathe out, up you go. Open out through those little bones all the way down to the spine, opening up through the hips, pushing your knees forwards, open it through, breathing at the top and slowly breathing out as you lower. Try and make sure your thighs keep talking to each other so they're not moving around at all. So you breathe in, prepare. As you breathe out, you lift, you lengthen and you press those knees forwards as you open through the hip flexors here. And work these deep tummy muscles inside, breathing at the top, slowly breathing out as you lower. 
you need to really engage the core here, make sure the tummy muscles are working. Take that deep breath in, breathe out, lift and lengthen, push those knees forwards, keep them lifting, pushing them forwards, opening out into that lovely bridge. Breathing in at the top and slowly coming down with real control and see if you're just gently pressing your spine down into a nice sandy beach. Wouldn't that be nice? And relax. Perfect. So, I'm going to use the band again if you've got one. If you haven't got one, as I said, you can use a long towel or a belt that's something secure for you. Popping it around one foot, just underneath so it's secure and holding it so my hands by my knee and the foot secure in the band. Keep the head and shoulders on the floor to start with. Just take a nice deep, nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, push that leg out straight. Lengthen through, breathe in, bring the leg up to the ceiling. Now don't use the arms to lift the leg, so there's no resistance at all now. Now if you've got a band, now you put the tension on and you breathe out as you lower. So you're actually pushing against the band. Going down to where it's comfortable for you. Take the tension off the band, breathe in, lift the leg on its own. Don't be tempted to pull the band up. Resistance on, breathe out and lower. Really control it. So although it's a leg movement, it's also really working deep into your tummy muscles, so your lower tummy. Resistance on as you lower. Resistance off as you lift. If you haven't got a band, you can do exactly the same movement. You just lower it gently with control, pulling in deep into the tummy muscles, not moving the spine, lifting up nice and gently. Really easy to do the lift, much harder to do the slow, lowering control. So just gently bring it down. And then one more, floating up, controlling it down. Let the leg come all the way to the floor. Relax, bring it in. And now we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So again, if you've got a band, pop the band round, straighten that leg, and it starts from the ceiling. Tension on as you lower the leg slowly down. So as low as you comfortably can, but don't touch the floor. Tension off, as you lift the leg, it floats up. So the lifting should be you doing all the work. The lowering, it's you resisting and pushing away, keeping it strong. Think about these muscles you're working here. So just float up as you breathe in. Tension on, if you've got the band, breathe out and lower. Resistance off, don't let go of it. The last one with the band. Breathing out as you lower, keep it controlled. Excellent. Now I'm going to pop the band off and do exactly the same without. So as you're lowering, lengthen through, press the heel away from you. Think about engaging your deep core muscles here. Pull the tummy in. Breathe in, lifting up. Breathing out and pressing away, keeping it strong. Last one without the band, just to show you can do it without. Lowering down gently, this time coming it all the way down to the ground. Slowly control it down, pop it on the floor and then take the leg out to meet it. Extend those arms away from you and just lengthen out every part of your body. Just give it a really good stretch. Oh, lovely. Bring the knees in, bring the head up. We're going to do a double leg stretch. So the chin's off the chest, you're hugging those knees tight. You breathe in and you breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Keeping the spine long. Excellent. leg stretch out to the corners into the centre. So we've done double legs in the centre, 
Now we're reaching out to the corners of the room with the arms, hugging them into the centre, pressing them away. Back to double leg stretch, chin up, lengthen through, relax the head and shoulders. Now you're going to place your hands on your side, on the side, keep the spine on, make sure it's not moved at all, next relax. I want you to flex your knees, so you've got a right angle at the knees and then flex your ankles. So you've got a right angle here and here. From here, we're going to point the toe on one leg, lengthen down from the hip flexor, not the knee, and then bring it back up. So the movement is five bone moves in the hip socket, and it comes back up. No movement in the knee at all. So think about this hinge. You're hinging from here. Keep those tummy muscles in tight. Lower as you breathe out, lift as you breathe in. Same leg. Lower as you breathe out, lift as you breathe in. You need to really keep your tummy muscles working now. Lower as you breathe out, lift as you breathe in. Last one. Lower as you breathe out, lift breathe in, change legs, exactly the same, nothing else moves, breathe in, prepare, breathe out and lower, breathe in, lift, breathe out and lower, breathe in and lift, keep it strong, breathe out and lower, breathe in and lift, breathe out and lower, Breathe in and lift. Take those legs to the ceiling. Slowly draw a circle on the ceiling with both legs moving away from the centre. And then bring those knees into your chest. And we're just going to open them gently. Lift the legs up and walk on the ceiling. So from here, we're going to do scissors. So you're just going to scissor small and start to come down Lower, lower, and lower, and lower, and lower till you're about three quarters of the way down. Then you're in the position to come up into V sit. So you're going to come from here to here and then stop, have a breather if you need one. But what I want you to do is to be able to sit on your sit bones. So, V sit position. So we're up and we're nice and long through the spine again. Take your hands around the back of the thighs if it helps. Feet are off the floor. Now, if you've got lower back problems, you can keep your feet on the ground, or at least keep one on the ground, just so you feel a bit more stable. From here, lengthen one leg, and then the other. Nice and steady. Let the arms if you can. Or if you feel really unstable, put your hands behind your back, and you can support yourself there. Both legs together, this is teaser. Bringing in, breathe. Shoulders back, set yourself ready, and breathe out, and breathe in. Breathing out, breathing in, perfect, keep that going. Breathe out, lengthen that spine, breathe in, pull your tummy in harder. Two more. Come on, last one. Da -da! And then relax. Bring the feet together, just open out through the inner thigh. Just let your body relax down for a minute. Just hold it there. So we're just going to hold that stretch through the inside of the legs. Let the back collapse over. Brilliant. So I've got one more with the band. So in your own time, sit comfortably, long spine, and your toe hand. So what I want you to do, if you've got the band, it's pocket band, and it back. You can do this with a broomstick if you've got one, or a mop or anything that keeps your arms in this position. So pressing against the band, nice and tall, feet flexed, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. So that's your waist twist. Nice and tall. Keep the tension pushing away from the center. From here, into the saw. So turn, drop, press away. 
I need you to show you that without the band. So from the saw, you drop, you chop, you come back up. So rotate first, drop down and come up. Just one more each way. Last one. And then let's shoulders roll. Brilliant. From there, you're going to come onto your knees. You're not going to be on them long, but I want you to be able to sit onto the knees, open the chest. I'm going to try and stretch a little bit more down through the hip flexors and the front of the thighs and also into your lower tummy. So come up, lengthen, excuse me, relax your shoulders. So from here, you can lift the arms, see that open the way. Breathe in as they close, breathe out open and press them away from you. And relax the arms, roll the shoulders. From there, hands have gone to the floor, you're into your tabletop. So now bring your knees directly underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders. Cat to cow, breathe in and breathe out slowly. The movement is here, right in the centre. So breathe in, tilt the pelvis up and under, breathe out, tilt it away. Breathing in. And breathing out. And again, try and get as much movement as you can here. The pelvis rolls forward and then it rolls away. Back to centre, superwoman. Now lengthen the spine, keep looking straight down. Breathe in, extend the opposite arm to leg. Breathe out, come back to centre. Breathing in, so we're pressing away from the middle line. And breathing out, keeping everything else completely still. Imagine you've got a tray of wine glasses resting on your back or hot chocolate, something you don't want to spill. Always do at least six of each repetition. Build up to ten if you've got a little bit more time. slightly forward over the arms, bring the knees back a step. You're going to slowly come down through the chest, lying down on the face, looking at the floor, hands come by your shoulders. Squeeze your thighs together, lengthen the spine, looking down, breathe in, extend and lengthen. As you breathe out, come down slowly with control. Breathing in, lift and lengthen through the spine and breathing out. And keep your elbows tucked into your ribs if you can. So you're lengthening through. Breathing in. Lengthen. Slowly breathe out to your lower. Breathe in, lengthen. As you breathe out, lower slowly. Tuck your toes underneath you. Hands come back. Press back onto the heels. Walking back, slowly rolling up. So as you're standing, you're going to roll everything around, give yourself a shake, give yourself a clap, and well done. So just a few more extra little moves that you can do. Lying on the floor preferably. If you don't feel safe on the floor, a firm bed would work, but you need to make sure you're not going to roll off. Okay, see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.